All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be an unboxing of a couple of new Dromeda vehicles. These are their 18th scale vehicles, and this is the newest version of them that include brushless electronics, and actually the one on the far left actually has some LED lights already installed on it, which are pretty cool. Now these are, like I said, 1 18th scale vehicles, so they're quite small, but they have some pretty cool little claims on the boxes here. Um, of course, brushless right here, the BL, you do have a 30 plus mile per hour uh, speed rating on these things. Um, they are waterproof, they are ready to run, so you get everything in the box that you need. You get the vehicle battery, the batteries for the transmitter, and pretty much everything else that you would need. Um, they are four-wheel drive vehicles. This is the buggy version, that is the short course version. Um, they come with 2.4 gigahertz radios, and all of the batteries are included. Now these are both LiPo compatible, however, no LiPo battery comes in the box. They are nickel metal hydride batteries. This one over here does come with the LED lights pre-installed on it, which are pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these things, get them out of the box, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back now, and I went ahead and got everything out of the box, and just wanna go over some of the I guess boring stuff first, uh, you know, it's always nice when RTRs come with everything, and these uh, Dramatas definitely do. So uh, the first thing right here, it does come with a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Um, very nice, actually, um, super lightweight. Feels like it's a lot of plastic, but um, it does have an, a nice wheel. And what's really cool is they actually did like kind of a disc brake feature inside. Just a little added touch here. And I mean, for the price point of these vehicles, to add those little extra things, very nice. So short little stubby antenna right here. It's not flexible. It kind of looks like it's, uh, you know, flexible, but it's not. Um, it does have a little flip up deal here for your uh, dual rates, uh, on off switch, and your reversings right there. You do have throttle and steering trim up here on the top, and of course the trigger. Nice. Bottom side here takes four double A's, which are included, which is pretty nice. So your basic 2.4 gigahertz RTR remote, not bad. Um, Double A's comes with them, so you're ready to go right out of the box. It does come with some shock preload spacers here. Um, it comes with, it looks like about four of them, maybe six, uh, just so you can preload your shocks. Different widths as well, so um, these are not threaded bodies, so you will have to add these on if you want to add a little bit more preload to the shocks. It does come with a wall charger. It is a uh, big, huge, monstrous wall charger here. It has like a little... Uh, module that hooks straight up to the battery here with some LED lights tells you if it's charging or if it's ready so pretty nice little wall charger uh, to get you going. Last thing here just some literature here has um, some programming capability of the ESC which is pretty nice um, comes with just some basic care and maintenance items here for your vehicle and then it does come with some literature here for RC Driver magazine, just some tips and tricks, and you know, only $9.95 for 12 issues. So there you go. Uh, all right, onto the vehicles. I, these things are super cool. Uh, you know, for the 18th scale, um, I think they did a very good job of capturing the essence of a smaller vehicle. So you can kind of see here um, little small pinned tires, very nice traction. These are actually super soft. I uh, usually don't see that in an RTR vehicle. Usually they're that kind of uh, all-purpose uh, type of tire, which these definitely are, but they're they're very soft. Um, nice little wing up here. Shocks seem to be pretty well um, uh, dampened. They are oil-filled shocks. Definitely stiffer in the front, a little bit more springier in the back, which is nice for a buggy. Buggy body is, is pretty cool, actually. It uh, um, you know, captures that kind of flame tribal kind of look to it with the BX 4.18 BL for brushless. Pretty cool. Just a little white inside there. And here's a look at the actual uh, unit here. Um, long, thin canned motor. This is a 5300 kV motor. It comes with a six cell nickel metal hydride battery. Uses these kind of smaller plugs here. So if you want to use a different type of battery, uh, you will have to either change out the ESC plug or adjust for these. 
uh, particular ones. They do have a four millimeter banana plugs hooking up to the ESC, which is actually pretty nice now because this is actually one unit. If you remember in the old uh, Dromeda vehicles, they had the actual receiver and ESC was all one little module. So very nice. He uses a micro little um, uh, servo right there with a servo saver built in. Uh, seems to be uh, reacting already here with just a little bit of um, movement of the wheels. On the other side over here, do have that 2.4 gigahertz receiver, very small footprint. That's a uh, about half the size of a typical uh, uh, receiver. Um, very nice. So it looks like you have uh, uh, pretty much uh, plastic dog bones front and rear, and they're going into uh, it looks like plastic cups on the differentials. So it doesn't seem like there's too much inside the differentials. Maybe just some grease to kind of keep them uh, happy. Um, you do have a uh, uh, ball ends on all four points here. These are adjustable, the fronts and the rears, uh, but the steering ones are not. These are just plastic um, uh, turnbuckles. Underside here, just a plastic tub chassis, which is nice just for a, a smaller vehicle like this. You don't need aluminum or anything to um, to, to beat down on. This thing is, is pretty lightweight actually. Um, looks like it does use Phillips hardware throughout the vehicle, which I understand because, you know, if you're just starting out or you just got this for like a, a birthday or a Christmas present, you can actually start working on it right away without any special tools. So very nice that they kind of kept that uh, in mind. Right here on the short course truck version, uh, this one's actually cool. I, I This was the first one I picked and and there's a couple reasons why. Of course, it does include LED lights, which is pretty cool. It has six of them across the top here. And from what I've read, they're super bright. The body is actually pretty nice. I, I like the scheme of it. I like um, the red with the number plates here. It has the, the kind of scale bars going down. And the coolest part is a f actual rear um, spare tire, which is pretty cool. They went away from the mud flaps, gave us the spare tire. I like that. So front bumper also has some lights here, not LEDs, but they are uh, light looking buckets. Let's go ahead and take this off. Now with a, um, a lighted uh, canopy here, you are going to have a plug. This just plugs straight into the receiver to power it. You have to remember that when you're actually hooking up your, your body and your battery and everything. Here, very similar uh, look to the buggy, except we have uh, body mounts up here for the short course body. Very nice wheels and tires. These are um, a lot uh, uh, more uh, scale looking than you would see here on the uh, buggy version. So uh, really nice, kind of has that uh, BF Goodrich kind of look to it, um, but super nice here. All the same items that you would find in the buggy as in this one, still that 5300 KV little micro motor right there. That thing should be super fast. Um, has that kind of VXL blue look to it which is pretty cool. Um, but as far as all the rest of the specs, pretty much the same. No rear bumper on this thing, but you do get kind of a, uh, a rear bumper-ish thing right here with the uh, spare tire carrier, which is nice. And once again, that plastic tub chassis. Well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of the Dromeda vehicles. Nice to see that they are doing a brushless version with little upgrades and whatnot with the LED lights and you know, just some nice uh, scale features on these things. Um, for the price point, I think they did a great job. Well guys, I'm gonna get these things up and running and show you some running footage in the next video. Well guys, if you have any comments or questions, check out the video description. I have a link straight over to Tower Hobbies to check out where I pick these things up. Um, they actually were a pretty good deal for uh, the, the price of these things and what you get. So if you're looking for that cool little birthday present or want to get someone into RC but not sure you want to spend you know five six thousand bucks on a new vehicle for them uh, these things are great to get into the hobby well guys that's it for now comments questions on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over now